Last two, keep it controlled. Nine, one more, and 10. All right, hammer curls, shoulders back, ready? And go, one, two, woo, three, four, five. Notice how I'm starting to sway, right? That means I'm compensating, so this is a good time to decide. Do I need to switch weights? But I only have two more reps, one more. And time, all right? So what we don't want is your whole body to start swinging the dumbbells up so everything is nice and controlled. Woo, how does arms feel? Oh, I feel them tight right there and there, right? All right, push-ups, 10. Forward lunges for 20. See the pattern? All right. Woo, my arms. Ready? 10 push-ups. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come on up. 20 forward lunges. Ready? Let's go. If you want weights here, you can definitely grab your weights. But you're gonna notice a pattern here. I'm gonna do this one in between each set of three uh, sets of other exercises, okay? And push. Good job, keep it going. Inhale, exhale out. Pressing it through. Last 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Bend that leg. Five, watch your form, press off the heels. Last two. And one. Woo. You need water? It's a good time to get some. And again, we're not guzzling water, we're sipping water, right? All right. Back to the arms. This time we're gonna do dumbbell kickbacks with overhead French presses. Okay? So elbows tucked in. You don't have to be way down here, right? So find a good position for your back as well. Keep it nice and safe. Ready? 10 repetitions, dumbbell kickbacks. And go. One, two, three, four. My wrist stay in a nice neutral position. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And 10. Pushing the dumbbells together works well for me. Arms go straight up beside your ears, and we're gonna drop them down behind your neck, ready? Now we go one, two, we don't want those elbows to flare out. Three, keep them nice and square. Four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10, awesome. Elbows tucked in. Ooh, my hair. <laughs> Tickle. All right, elbows tucked in. 10 kickbacks. One, two, three, four, five, Woo. six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Overhead, French presses. Going right over, elbows tucked in. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! One more set. Elbows tucked in. How those arms feeling? Ready? Kick it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and ten. Overhead. Up we go. Elbows tucked in. Ready? Let's go. One. Two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Woo. And ten. Go ahead. Dumbbells to the side. What's next? Push ups. All right. Ten push ups. Hands go with the width of the mat. You can stay on your knees or go right down on your toes. Up to you. Ready? Ten times. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Back to your lunges. Twenty times. Woo! And our shoulders and arms. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got this. Eight, nine. We got ten more here. Come on. One, two, woo. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo, shake it out. All right, next we're going to go to the legs. We're going to do a narrow squat, down and up, a wide squat, down and up. 10 and 10, then we're going to stay in that wide squat, we're going to raise one heel, but we're going to go more plie, we're going to go 10 on one leg, lift the other heel, 10 on the other leg, three sets in total, all right, so narrow squats, feet are right underneath your hips, yeah, okay, ready, and go. Nine, if you want weights, you can hold weights with this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step your feet apart. Nice wide squat. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Knees are not going past your toes. Eight. Two more. And ten. Plie. Toes are out to the side. Lift one heel. Ready? Down and up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And ten. Other heel comes up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Toes around. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Toes face forward. Narrow squat for ten. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Seven and ten. Take it nice and wide. Toes are still forward, maybe slightly angled, but that's more comfortable on your knees. Okay, ready? Down and up. One, two, three. You can use weights. Four, five. Sit in that chair. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Toes out. Right heel comes up. This time I want you to pulse it for ten. Ready? Let's pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch heels. Ready? Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Release. 
Nice and narrow. One more set. Ready? Set. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. And ten. Wide legs. Ready? And go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Come on. How low can you go? Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Plie. Heel up. Pulse it. One. Two. Three. Six. Other leg. Up it goes. Ready? And go. One. Two. Three. Five. Seven. And ten. Woo! Shake it out. Good work. We're going to be right back. Ten push-ups. Twenty-four lunges. I guess the big question is, how many push-ups am I going to do today? We'll see. Right? All right, down we go. Ten push-ups on your knees, on your toes. Ready? And go. And ten. Good job. Forward lunges. Twenty counts. Are we warm yet? I'm warm. Ready? And go. Twenty. Push off your heel, watch those knees. Back to the fridges. 
Last two. Oof. One more. Oof. And release. Oof. How's that? Okay, second round, overhead presses. 90 degree angle. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Don't lock your knees out. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, my poor little shoulders. Shoulders down and back, front raises for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lateral raises, palms face inside towards each other in front of the hips. Ready for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ooh, nine, last one, and ten. Whew. All right, one more round. Great, so we're going to go back to your overhead presses. 90 degree angle, are you ready? Set and go. Oh my goodness. Two, three, four, five. Tank top arms. That's all we have to think about. Get that motivation going. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh my goodness. Hands to the front of the hips. Soften those knees. Ready? Alternate front raises. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. And ten. Lateral raises. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. You're going to feel those arms tomorrow. Four, five, six, eight. Last two. One more. And ten. Good job. We're going to go right back to push ups. Right down to the ground. Hands with the width of the mat. Ready? And go. Right into it. Couple more. Good work. All the way back up. Alternating front lunges. Oh, my arms are gonna fall off. Ready? Set and go. One. See? I'm feeling the pain with you. Isn't that great? <laughs> but what a great feeling, right? Because you're gonna be so thankful after your workout. Six, seven, eight, nine, keep going. 10, last 10. One, bend your back leg. Two, it's not just a stretch, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Last one, and 20. Good, shake it out. All right, let's have some water. We're gonna move on. And of course, so not done with those arms. Oh, well, just think, arms face on you, yeah? All right, so for this one, we're gonna do a row and a reverse fly. So I usually suggest um, two different weights, right? But that's completely up to you. And again, if you only have one set, hopefully it's not too heavy because the reverse fly is a more postural. You'll see what I mean. So feet right underneath your hips, hinge forward from the hips, arms right in front of the chest. We're going to roll it up for 10. Ready? Rolling it up. One, two, three, four, five, 
Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 10. Now, if you want to go lighter, right, or if you have a couple water bottles, then maybe it's a good time to switch to a lighter weight. Same position, so your lower back is gonna get a bit of a toll here, so we are working a little bit more through the lower back region. We're gonna do reverse fly, so we're gonna come all the way up and down, all right? Squeeze the shoulder blades. Two more. Last one. And ten. Whew. All right, back to the rows. If for whatever reason you find this difficult to do everything bend over like that, then maybe grab a chair or use a wall to sort of lean against it and then just do one arm at a time. So what I do is I lean against it and then we roll from here for five and then switching it over for five. You can also do this on all fours, right? And then just alternating while you're on your knees. Ready, set, and go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I'll stay nice and close to the side, right? Back to your reverse flies, hinging. So we go back a little break, hinging forward, ready? Flying it out. One, stay lateral to your shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. And ten. Whew. One more round. All right. All right. Gauge that lower back. Stand up nice and upright. All right. Give it a little breather. 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 All right. Hinging forward. Elbows stay nicely tucked to the side. So don't let them flare out. Ready? For ten. One. Two. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Three. Four. tomorrow than I don't know, especially your shoulders. All right, ready, set, and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 1. All right, from there, 10 push-ups. Oh, yes. All right, hands about the width of the mat. Oh, maybe give yourself a little stretch here. <laughs> little breather. So mean. What a mean personal trainer I am. All right, push ups. Ready for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Back to your front lunges. Whew. Twenty times. Let's go. Ah, but you know, I tell you, when you're done, you're gonna be like, that was so worth it. And I feel so great and so thankful for having a body that can do it, right? And I'm so proud of you for looking after your precious body like this. Because this is no different and tuning up your car, tuning up your computer, right? Uh, cleaning your house. This is no different, brushing your teeth. This is what it takes to be healthy, to feel great, not only physically, but mentally, right? And again, three, last two, last one, and release. Awesome work. We're gonna come back down on the floor, but this time, we're going to come right down on the elbows to give those arms a little breather. Yay! You're welcome. We're going to flex one of your feet. If you need more cushioning under your knees, what I do is either use a towel or I have these great little foam blocks 
and then I put right underneath one of my knees so that it has a little bit more support. Flexing the foot, we're going to do glute kickers, glute kickbacks. We're going to just push up as high as we can towards the ceiling and back down. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good. Over to the other side. And go. One, two, three, four, five. It's like you're pushing up on the ceiling. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Let's flip you around. Grab one of your dumbbells. And we're going to do right ten crunches. You can go all the way up into a sit-up or just stay into the small crunches. Ready? And go. So we can just go from here to here. One. Or we're going to come all the way up. Two. When I say all the way up, I don't mean all the way up that you're sitting nice and upright. Okay? And again. Four. Don't use that dumbbell too much for um, momentum. Right? And again. Six. And again. Seven. Three more. Eight. Ooh. Last two. Good. One more. And ten. Awesome. I'm going to flip you back around. One knee on the block. Onto the elbows. Back into your butt kick. Ready? Flexing that foot. Heel to the ceiling for ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Switching it to the other side. Elbows down. Ready? Flex your foot and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good work. Back on your back. Right back into the sit-ups or crunches. It's up to you. Great. Right? So depending on your lower back strength. Pelvic tucked in. Make sure your lower back is nice and safe. Ready? Let's go. Curl it up one. And release. Curling it up two. Keep it controlled. And again. Good job. And again. Still out. Five more. Four more. Three more. Last two. Oh, oh yeah, one more. Come on. Ah. All right, flip it over. One more time, each side. Elbows down, flex your foot, ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Over to the other side. Ten more times. The last one. Ready, and go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back on your back, grab your dumbbell. Whew. Work it, work it. Back to the sit up or crunches, pelvic tucked in. Make sure your back stays safe, ready, and go. A lot of breaks in there, right? Just keep on going, keep on going. That's what makes 45 minutes so much more effective, right? So you can totally spend an hour in a gym, but take a lot more breaks. And again, it all depends on your goals, right? So it's very specific to your own goals. So if you are um, a hockey player, then you would have a lot more explosive movements. If you're a basketball player, 
you have a lot more explosive movements, so we want to do more plyometric stuff. We want to make sure that we do more speed work, right? But if your goal is to do muscle gain, we need lots of weight, less repetitions. If your goal is endurance, um, where you want to be faster at something, or um, tone, condition, all that sort of stuff, well then might be higher repetitions or right in the middle. Last one, right? So it's very individual and done. Perfect, flip it over. What are we doing? Push-ups, all right, turning it around. 10 push-ups, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 10, good, up we go. 20 lunges, ready, and go. One, two, three. So if you've been working out um, a certain way, but you're not seeing the results that you're looking for, then you need a switch. You need a change. And you have to figure out what that may be. And if you're unsure of it, don't get frustrated and quit. You contact a personal trainer who helps you create a plan that fits your needs, okay? That's what you're gonna do. And again, three, so it takes a lot of headache out of the way. Two, last one, and time. Whew. Shake it out, grab some water, right? So a lot of times we have frustrated. So I wouldn't build my house without a contractor. I wouldn't try to figure it out myself. I don't think I can even build a table, so it would never look good. So I just get somebody else to do that for me. Let's lay on your back. We're going to pull your knees into your chest and let's give yourself a gentle rock side to side, just massaging that lower back out. So no cardio today, but a lot of strength today, right? So sometimes we come out of these workouts where it's like, okay, well, that was hard on my arms or my legs, but uh, I didn't feel the sweat. So really, was it a good workout for my body? I'm going to take one leg straight down. I'm going to take the other leg at a 90 degree. I'm going to grab with your hand. And we're just going to pull it across the hips. Um, please do not gauge a workout by how much you sweat or how sore you are tomorrow. That's not how we gauge a workout. It needs to be meant for your body type. But also, if you worked as hard as you did with the resistance or the repetitions or whatever you may be working towards, and you worked hard, you will see the results. But you can't just base it on that. Hand goes on the outside of the knee and pulling it across. Right? So if I go running for 10 minutes, I'm going to be sweating for sure. Um, if I go skipping for 10 minutes, am I going to be sweating? Yes! Right? But if I do 10 minutes of weight training, I may not sweat buckets, but it's a whole different um, workout and your muscles, when we do resistance training, it sounds kind of gross, but they're tear and they have to repair. And that repair takes energy. So we're gonna burn calories for a long time after our workouts, several hours, and release. We're gonna come up into a seated position. We're gonna take the bottoms of your feet together, sliding them in, and we're gonna lean slightly forward, dropping those knees as much as we can, get a nice stretch in those adductors, your inner thighs. You did a fantastic job, as always. And I really appreciate you here with me live. Um, if, the, uh, if this class is not live for you and you're doing it as a recording later on today or another day, that's awesome, right? So just keep on plugging away, keep yourself fit and healthy and release. We're gonna slowly come up into a standing position. We're gonna take both hands behind, we're gonna open up the shoulders and chest we worked, right? So squeezing the shoulder blades, Pushing those hands down, opening through the chest. <sighs> Always feels so good when we're done, right? And release. Give me a nice deep breath. And exhaling it out. <sighs> so this is a great workout if you wanted to do a run before or after, if you wanted to do a little bit more of yoga type stretching after, um, if you have cardio equipment that you now want to go jump on, like a spin bike or a treadmill, this is great to do, right? 
We're going to hold it up, grab those hands, and lean over to one side. I guess this is all strength-based today. Um, definitely adding some cardio into the equation um, or a lot of stretching, right? Because we never get enough of that. Then over to the other side. Awesome work. And then taking it back to the center, releasing those arms down. We're going to roll our shoulders out. Nice big circles. Woo. I can feel my shoulders. How about you? Right? So please subscribe, like the videos. Um, that's really important too. So it's great that you're taking the videos, but always try to like them. So then, you know, it kind of bumps up on and we see what's being liked and what you want more of, okay? So like your favorite ones, like them all, which we appreciate, and um, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, and uh, maybe leave me a message, right? See how you're doing? And also, if you're a Facebook goer, share it with all your friends, even if you don't a Facebook goer, share it with your friends and family so they can uh, take advantage of all these great free classes as well. And it's not just me, there's other um, um, road, road staff that are also doing um, some suggestion of exercising, which have been awesome on Royal Road's grounds. So take a look because it's absolutely 100% beautiful. All right, so thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Sonia Benizi from Success Fitness, and I will see you um, in the next few days for another workout. Yay! And if you're here live, have a great, great weekend. <laughs>